In this video, we're going to take a look at reviewing how we reduce fractions, so that later we can extend that to how we reduce rational expressions. Because we're going to extend this process over to a more abstract situation, I'm going to clearly break down every step we go through as we reduce these fractions, even though normally we'd probably do a lot of the steps mentally. So to reduce fractions, what we simply do is we divide out common factors. So if I were to give you a problem like 24 over 15, and ask you to reduce this, what you would probably notice is that both 24 and 15 are divisible by 3. What you're really noticing there is 24 can be rewritten as 3, I'll write it down here, 3 times 8. And the 15, you notice, can be written as 3 times 5. They both have a factor of 3 in there. When there's a common factor in there, we can divide it out completely, leaving just the fraction 8 over 5 left. Similarly, if we had 48x squared y over 18xy cubed, we could factor that out rather than rather than just reducing mentally. 48 and 18, you might notice, are both divisible by well, 2 would be one idea. Maybe it'd be 2 times uh, 48 is 24 over, we'll get to the variables in a minute, 18 is 2 times 9. But you might still notice that the 24 and 9 have a common factor in them. Those are both divisible by 3. So 24 is 3 times 8. And 9 is 3 times 3. So if you were to multiply this out in the numerator, 2 times 3 times 8 is 48. 2 times 3 times 3 is 18. As for the variables, the x squared can be written out as x and x, and then the y. In the denominator, x, y cubed is 3 y's multiplied together. We have opened this up to all the factors, so we can see the common factors of 2 divide out, the common factors of 3 divide out, the common factor of x divides out, and a common factor of y divides out. All that we have left in the numerator is 8x. In the denominator, we have a 3 and y times y, or y squared. So yes, this is the extended way to reduce fractions, but this process of identifying the common factors and dividing out the common factor is going to help us reduce rational expressions.